Your Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus comes with plenty of things that you probably didn't know about. So let's start with it. First, your always on display is highly customizable and because it's the one thing that's always visible to you and everyone around you, you need to make sure you have an awesome one. So you can go into settings, lock screen and security and then you head into clock and face widgets. Select clock style. Now you can choose individual clock styles for always on display and even for your lock screen. There are a couple of uh, clock styles available that you could choose from analog and digital as well. And once you're done with that, you could go into and choose your color. So there are quite a few fresh uh, solid colors and there are also some preset gradient colors that you can choose from. Once you're done, just hit apply and you can go back and lock your screen and you will see the newly reflecting um, colors and the clock style that you chose. And this is what I had. Now, if you're not happy with this, you could head over to your theme store. So go into settings and then uh, hit wallpapers and themes. And in the bottom right corner, you will have the AOD section, which is always on display. And you've got tons of free as well as some uh, paid always on display themes that you could choose and apply onto your lock screen. Not lock screen, actually. But it's technically your always on display screen. So I've chosen this one and it just reflects as soon as I apply it. The next tip is to change your phone's theme to dark mode by tapping the volume up and the power key together. This is essentially an accessibility setting that enables your negative colors. And you know, you can't use this for browsing your Instagram feed or Facebook images because those images would look really bad in negative colors. And you just press the combination again to disable this. Uh, just one thing, remember to reactivate edge lighting and always on display after this. And guys, I'm really trying hard to get to 100,000 subscribers really quick. So please do like the video and do subscribe to my channel. Moving on to the third one is edge lighting, which for some reason is deactivated by default on the S9 and the S9 Plus. So you could actually go into settings, then go into display, scroll down to edge screen and turn on edge lighting. And you can uh, tap on edge lighting, set it to always, and then go into edge lighting style. Now you would see that there are four effects that have been added. You can change their color, you can change transparency, and you can make or manipulate the width of the edge. Now within effects, you've got four. Uh, in multicolor, there are two colors that, you know, sort of go around. And um, there are a couple of solid colors that are available. And there are some um, presets as well. Uh, you could go into glow, which essentially gives a glow effect on, around the edge of the screen. And you can also set the width for that if required. And then lastly, there is glow, which is basically a multicolored uh, edge around your display if, if, you know, if that's your preference. Now, what's really interesting is that every app can have its own color. I have customized my notification colors for about 11 apps and you can give it pretty much any color that you like. Uh, so it's totally up to you and I think that's, that's brilliant. The next step is a pretty simple one. Uh, when you tap your recent apps, you basically see all these cards um, or thumbnail view of your apps. You could go into menu, click on list view, and now you have all your recent apps in a more, you know, you, I mean, you see more apps together and it's easier to manage that way. Coming to the next one, the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus support both multi-window as well as pop-up view. But again, it's, it's turned off by default. So you could go into uh, uh, settings and turn it on in the advanced features. Uh, you've got an option called multi-window, which is basically uh, you know, what this is. And you need to turn on both for um, uh, pop-up view action as well as split screen view. So you know, you've got a large screen. It's a 6.2, 6.3 inch display, and that's what it's for. The next tip is on the camera. The S9 and the S9 Plus now feature a much more intuitive camera software, which allows you to easily switch between various modes. However, it also allows you to manage those modes and reorganize them in a way that you feel best. So if there is something that you don't like or you want something to appear before something else, you can do all of that. So you can enable and disable modes that you use or don't use um, and you can rearrange them so that they appear exactly in the order you want them uh, and in the preference that you use them. So that's a pretty neat trick and you can do that for the front camera modes as well. If you're not a fan of having a dedicated app drawer for all your apps and prefer the iOS app drawer style, you could do that for yourself. Long tap on the home screen, then go into home screen settings, go into home screen layout and select home screen only. Now, 
basically all your apps are going to be on the home screen just like you know it is in the ios um, and you know if that's something that's something that you prefer you can get it done Another quick tip, if you're one of those people who pulls down the notification panel too often, in the home screen settings, you can enable quick open notification panel and you can just drag your thumb from anywhere on the home screen, it'll pull down the notification. Now, there are a couple of other features like the intelligent scan, which combines your face and iris scanning for better results. You can also disable the portrait only mode to view your home screen in landscape mode. You can also enable finger sensor gestures. For example, you can swipe up on the fingerprint scanner to launch Samsung Pay. So those were some of the lesser known features, you know, tips, tricks or hacks for the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. If you think that, you know, you know a couple of them yourself, uh, feel free to comment them in the section below. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up on the video. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.